So uh, this is the third year that I've been the advisor. We started as a very small club, and you will see that about right now we have about half of our membership here. So this has provided an opportunity for a lot of students at Madison to get connected with their community, to volunteer, to get connected with the Red Cross Club. They're leading the disaster preparedness event that we're planning for May, and we're hoping that they will be our first responders here at Madison and be able to safe keep us like Red Cross does around the world. Okay, so last time we talked about time cards, and if you didn't get one, she has like a pile of them, okay? And then t-shirts, we still haven't sold all of them, so buy one if you haven't. Blanchard House, if you were here last year, you know what that is. If you don't, it's a place that feeds homeless, so... We'll give you the address and we'll just meet up here and go, but it's on Thursday, March 20th from 4 to 6, and then Friday, March 30th from 4 to 6. So we'll meet up here and then go. Sign up with Kelly, too. And then extra boxes, if anybody really wants to just take a box and walk around with it and collect money. Raise hands, anybody? No, we're all doing Okay, so you can take a box because we have extras. Just wanted to know a little bit more about what motivates you as a volunteer. Um, I love seeing results, and honestly, it's more like the people I can motivate to start volunteering is what motivates me. And um, how did you get involved with the Red Cross? Um, I got involved freshman, sophomore year a little bit, but then we would always go to the Blanchett House, which is why I always have that event here. And uh, it was just really fun. And then from there, I just started getting more involved. And then I'm really organizational, so that helped out with the club. And eventually, like, I was putting in a crazy amount of hours, and I got elected to office two years now. How many schools did you apply to? Nine. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so what, what's, your, what's your top choice among those? Uh, um, I really like Lewis and Clark, but if I could get to one of the Ivy Leagues, that'd be awesome. Ooh. Yeah. you apply to any of them? Yeah, I applied to Harvard and Yale and Stanford. Cool. Yeah. What's your GPA? <laughs> 3.98. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> it's 4.17 weighted, though. So okay. that's why I applied to them, because I thought cool. I'd have a chance. The best project I've worked on it was bringing uniformity to our movement. Being one of the most diverse schools in Oregon with over 40 languages spoken, I felt that it was crucial that our uniforms embrace our unique backgrounds. Though not its intention, the symbol of the Red Cross reminds people of the cross in Christian people don't identify with. Realizing this, I designed a more universal club logo, including the Red Cross, the Red Crescent, and the Red Diamond. This was an important step in unifying our Madison community and aligning all backgrounds with fundamental values of the American Red Cross. Did you know that you got the award you got was the president? President's Volunteer Service Award, which they give to people um, recognizing their valuable volunteer contributions in the community. So you reached a certain amount of hours that made you eligible for it. And um, it's basically a way for the president to say thank you and honor people who have volunteered in the community. So oh, awesome. Okay. Yeah, it's a big deal. <laughs> so about 300 hours probably in total. Right.